In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to clean up the breeze in our games. Here in my workspace, I have a couple of beautiful parts that I'm going to use as the breeze that I need to clean up in my game. So first thing, let's go to our workspace and we're going to add a folder. Let's rename it to parts. And we're going to move all our parts into it. And those are going to be the debris that we want to clean up, we want to remove from our game. Next, let's go to our service script service and we're going to add a script. Let's start by declaring a variable to represent our parts. Local parts equals to game dot, let me check my path here, dot workspace dot parts. I want to get to this folder. And then I want to get all the children inside that folder. So I'm going to say colon get children. So now my parts is going to be an array containing all these parts in it. Next, I want to iterate through that array to get all my parts. So I'm going to say for underscore comma part in i pairs and the name of my array which is parts do so basically if you're not familiar with for in i pairs loop what it does it's it's going through this array and for each iteration it's going to return an index and value pair in this case, I'm not using the index, so my index is, uh, I'm just using an underscore for it. And the value is going to be stored in this variable. So now let's go back to the top. We're going to declare our debris service. So we're going to say local debris equals to game colon get service debris. And now we can go back down here to use our debris service. So we're going to say debris colon add item. And the first parameter is going to be our part. Second parameter is the duration, how much time before the system removes the part. So let's give it seven seconds. So in seven seconds, this function is, is going to remove this part that is being returned from our for loop. And it's going to do this for all the parts in our parts folder. So for each one, it's going to take seven seconds and it's going to be gone. Let's play and take a look. So give it seven seconds. Actually, it's going to be, it's going to take less than, oh, it's already gone. Let's now make a change to make things more interesting. So instead of getting rid of everything in seven seconds, we're going to insert a random number generator math dot random and we're gonna give it between seven seconds and 15 seconds to get rid of the parts all right let's take a look so everything is not gonna disappear all at the same time now because we're giving it a random number generator. There it goes, one, two, three, and wow, this one takes a long time. And there it goes. All right, so that's how you use the debris service to clean up your debris in your games. You could have done something similar using the destroy method, but that would make it much harder to do in this case.